Well, whether it is a Taco Tuesday or a random night of the week, I promise you these crispy beef tacos will be the ultimate favorite and you're gonna make it a staple in your family. Let's get to cooking. So the beef I use is 80-20. I like 80-20 just simply because it's got that extra fat in it. It renders well here on the griddle. Perfect for tacos. I got about a pound and a half, but obviously according to your family size, that can differ. But this is perfect because honestly it makes quite a bit. I would say maybe 15 tacos. Now that my beef is all chopped up, Let's hit it with some onions and we're also grabbing some pickled jalapenos and carrots. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oil here to my griddle. I have this on medium low. We're gonna pop it up just a bit. So while the onions and the jalapenos are cooking, let me mix these up real quick. We are literally almost done. So we have to hurry up and talk about the garnishes. We have sour cream and we have guacamole. As you can see, I cheated and I bought the already pre-made guacamole. Feel free to make your own. This goes perfect with these crispy beef tacos. Adds such a great little texture to a crispy piece of meat. You know I'm all about some guacamole. Oh yes, I know, anyway. I know it and who isn't, honestly. My husband, he'll tell you, oh, I hate guacamole and he'll go and eat it and he loves it every single time. But this sour is cream. I don't love. I'm not a sour cream fan with my Mexican food. What? No, it's madness. CJ, you are wild. I know. Uh, do you hear this people? Comment below, please, because who doesn't like sour cream with their Mexican? unheard of. All right, and that's it. Now, I will talk about the greenery that's gonna go with your tacos, and that's just simply some cilantro. And we'll also have some lettuce right on the bottom of that plate there. So now that we have all of our fun toppings ready to go, we're gonna go check on our beef, and of course our mixture of our onions, our pickled jalapenos and carrots. Looking great. Let's let this beef continue to brown, and then when we come back, we'll add it all together, and then we'll add that yummy fajita seasoning. Now that the beef is cooked nice and crispy, we're gonna add our fajita seasoning. Now, I just used a quick bag fajita seasoning. Of course, you can make your own, use whatever you like. Mix that up real well. Then we're gonna mix our onions and our pickled jalapeno mixture to the beef, toss it up, and then we're gonna move it off to the side. At this point, you wanna add a little bit of water to get all those seasonings rendered down well into the meat. Then we're gonna come back over to the griddle. On this side, we're gonna add a little bit of oil, slap down those corn tortillas, let them get nice and crispy. Let's talk about the cheese. You're gonna add shredded mozzarella on the whole entire tortilla. Then you're gonna add your beef. You're gonna do it to only half of the tortilla side. Then I like to add a little bit of my favorite Mexican cheese, queso fresco. Then we're gonna add a little bit of cilantro on top. At this point, we are going to go ahead and fold over those tortillas. Press it down, let it get nice and firm. You're gonna do this to all of them at the same time. Then every once in a while, you're gonna to wanna to flip them, check them to make sure they're nice and crispy. Once they're done to your liking, you're gonna move them on over to a paper towel. Now I use paper towels to let them drain. As you can see, I'm using the shop towels here. Those pick up the best excess of oil. Once those are nice and drained, it's time to plate. I chopped up some fresh romaine lettuce. Of course, you can use whatever you'd like. Add your tacos to your beautiful plate here. And don't forget the sides. I've used pre-made guacamole and sour cream. Dip it on and it's time to eat. This looks absolutely divine and it only took like 10 minutes to make. Max oh, 10 minutes. Max 10 minutes, honestly. And by the way, I added some extra queso fresco on top and a little bit of cilantro because extra, I'm so extra. <laughs> Actually, extra is my middle name, CJ. I'm um, gonna add a little bit of sour cream. Can't forget that guac. Oh yeah. He's with money. I'm salivating, like salivating. Here we go. Oh, I hear the crunch. Mm. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I've tested these before, somewhat similar. These are so much better. You know what makes it different? Is really taking the time to let that tortilla get nice and crispy oh, yeah. on low. That is key. Crispy tortilla shells. Absolutely amazing. Can't believe how quick this was. Last time I made something similar to this, I made this while my husband was feeding the baby, getting her ready for bath, and just like that, 
I was done. So busy mamas, busy individuals, promise you this one is for you. Taco Tuesday, why not? Random Thursday, okay. Yeah. Just remember, always keep it simple, always keep it quick, and you gotta keep it delicious. My name's Taylor Mock, and I will see you on the next episode. Mission accomplished. Oh. Mm.